Hello and welcome back to Powerful Expansion 777. I am Vanessa and in today's video, we're going to do a reading on what are some of your spiritual gifts. So, um, I want you to choose which one of these um, coasters here I have, they're Egyptian symbols, which one resonates with you. Once you choose which one resonates with you, I'm going to leave the time stamps um, in the comment section of this video or in the description section. And you can fast forward to that part of the video if you um, want to hear. This is one. It's a, um, a man traveling with a pyramid back there behind him, um, traveling, traveling through the desert. This is Queen Nefertiti. And this one is, looks like an ancient hawk. Okay, so one, two, three. All right, um, I just want to make it clear that my name is Vanessa. I am an intuitive reader and channeler, and I use tarot cards. Um, to just give you some insight and truth on what it is that you may be good at. That's what we're going to be covering in this video. So um, some of these may be like some of the things that you already know you're good at as far as spiritual gifts or you're not even aware of. But let's get started, okay? My number ones, those of you who chose the symbol of the man riding the camel through the desert with the water and the pyramid in the back, we're going to get into your reading on what your spiritual gifts is what are some of your spiritual gifts now this is a general reading and it's timeless so whenever you click on it if it resonates with you make sure to leave some feedback um, in the comments and let me know what you think also share um, subscribe to the channel if you like what you hear today all right so let's get started and in this video um, I choose to use something different than what I'm um, used to using so I made some cute little charms to use um, we're going to use some like some little wish cards some genie cards I made from a game I'm going to use them to help me see what some of your um, spiritual gifts are and we're going to just use some different decks okay so I'm just gonna go what with whatever draws me to it so for my number ones um, before I get started I feel like I want to channel a little bit um, some of you and my number ones are creators. Um, you're very creative. You're able to create things through your mind by visions. Some of you long to travel and actually can manifest trips across the world traveling based off of your imagination and creating things through visualization and speaking them and affirming them into reality so you're kind of like a builder and some of you that watch this um, video may be master builders so it's like your life path number is a master number it will resonate with the master builder number um, some of you are fascinated with um, symbols such as the flower of life. If you have not, if you're not familiar with it, you can look it up or do some research on it because it may be able to help you looking at that type of symbol, may be able to help you with creation and creating things and bringing things into reality. All right, that's what I'm getting for my number one. And let me see what are some of your spiritual gifts here yep so you do definitely have that creativeness the first card that came up was play so I feel like and even if you're not using it um, when you have fun and when you get into that joyful place that's how you can create a lot of people don't know but 
manifesting things come from like being in that happy, joyful state where you're um, allowing your energy to flow freely. Um, when you're happy, that's when you're the most creative. When you're just like, when you're not stressed, you're able to create things easily, even if you're not aware of it. Oh, two cards came out, so I'm going to go with them. Um, hmm. All right, so you're one of those person, um, type of people who you do best when you're alone, when you, um, like when you do things like fast or um, cleanse yourself of, you have like a connection to the divine pathways um when you're in a clear mind state like i said letting go of stress not holding stress in not um letting stress get the best of you um you're you're, you're a person that takes the initiative at things and you're kind of like um a leader so like when it comes to the spiritual area the farther you grow with what you're doing, you'll be able to show other people how to do things. Like you may be a spiritual teacher eventually, if you're not already now. Like you're going to be showing people how to do the things that you've learned how to do once you master them. Um, let me do some angelic. That's my favorite to roll, but let me do some of those. Okay. Yep. So you're definitely um oops. <laughs> you're definitely some manifestors actually. My number ones. Um you're actually good at manifesting. If you don't know it now you know. You're good at it because you have that connection to the divine. So it's you're kind of connected to the source, so it's kind of easier for you to do it and it can happen faster for you than others but it's about um being aware and expressing gratitude um gratitude 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 for the things that you've already received um and what you already have and maybe even doing stuff like scripting manifestation scripting or um vision boards would be good for you because you're definitely a person who can create things now for some of you I'm hearing um, something with water you're good with. Some of you may be scryers, good at scrying. And that's, you know, everything won't resonate with everyone who's watching this video, but that's for somebody who needed to hear that. Yep. So like with the night of air here, I know you're you're good with having things happen very fast for you, things speed up for you. So like something that another person would do, it would take longer to do. Um you're able to bring it into reality faster based off your emotions, based off how you feel. And once you make a definite decision about it, um once you come to it, um once you come to your own understanding of this is what I want to do or this is what I want to achieve or this is what I want. Once you make that decision and you don't go back and forth about it, you're able to create it like this. Like you're able to create things fast. Um, you're able to channel your passion um, into that, what it is that you're looking for. You are passionate. Um, you're passionate about things and you're the most passionate about the things that you really, really feel good doing. So maybe that's what you should be doing because... When you're doing things that feel good, that's when you're able to manifest faster because you're in a state of happiness, bliss, joy. So for my number ones, um, I also keep seeing water here and I hear water. Um, this eight of water is confirming the purity card that you are connected to the divine. So for some of you, you may have spiritual um, beings around you trying to assist you um, when you have good thoughts come to your mind 
they could be putting those thoughts in your ear or in your mind because they want you to have better. They want you to not be struggling in certain situations. They want to help you make decisions. Um, like I said, you do best when you're by yourself for this person, um, for the people that's watching this and that are number ones. You do best when it when you're by yourself, when you're making important decisions. And don't make decisions when you're mad because you're putting that energy into that um, into that thought. Into that, you're putting energy into that when you could be using your energy to manifest what you do want instead of what you don't want. Um, I feel like you're going to be always going through some type of spiritual growth, like, you're going to always be like searching for that. Um, how can I go to a higher spiritual level? What more can I learn? What more do I need to experience? Like, your soul is constantly evolving. Um, let me see what else, who I want to do. This is like some little cute cards that I had from a game, and I wanted to add them in here and do some like because they have cool little things on them. So, you'll see. Um, I just like to be creative, <laughs> so I want to see like what are some other gifts you may have. Number one, what are some spiritual gifts? That my number ones may have. I definitely know you guys are builders. I can see that already. But most importantly, people don't understand that when you build something or when you um, like are an innovator, a creator, it starts with a thought first. It starts in your mind first. Before you can even draw something on paper, you had to think about drawing it. Before you could even build something, it had to be a thought that came in your mind and said, hmm wonder what it would be like to have this and that's where everything starts with you my number ones all right so what are some more of your spiritual gifts mm -hmm. oh okay i see here i see we have the world peace card we have the universal cure and we also have the okay so with the world peace card, which was, I think it kind of matches up with the play. Like you want everyone to be happy. You want everyone to feel free. Um, you want, ultimately you want freedom. So one of your spiritual gifts could be like, you may have a connection to birds for some of you. You might be one of those people who can, for some of you, I'm hearing clear audience. <laughs> I'm hearing clear audience. Some of you are clear audience, but some of you can get messages from the birds telepathically about how to go along your life and how to make decisions or they'll show up when times may feel hard or you're having like a decision you got to make or change coming along. They'll come along and you'll notice them in your reality. One thing. Also, some of you have the ability to take Go in a room of people and bring everyone together automatically. Like it's some type of charisma that you have that draws people to you. Um, you have a thing for just wanting the whole world to be kind of like equal. You don't want people to be boxed in or you definitely want to bring more peace to the earth. So maybe you could use your spiritual gift of manifesting things to bring peace on earth by visualizing a more peaceful earth or how you can start in certain areas to make things better for the less fortunate people. Um, maybe you could even do charity. I know that's not spiritual all the way, but that will be something that will make you feel good. You like doing things for people. You like helping people. Okay, another card that we got was the World Cure. Oh, universal cure. So I could actually tell that you're one of those persons who, hmm, for some of you, you may be a healer, and that may through um, that may be through simply listening to people, just listening to someone, being there for people when they need someone to talk to to release burdens and stress and things like that. So that could be it. You could be like a spiritual counselor for some of you. That's why you're. Um, Always going back to that divine source, that divine space, so that you can 
clear your energy before you help others more. Um, so I feel like for this group, it's definitely important that you have your time when you're alone because you're going to always be helping others. Trying to make a universal cure, you might even be a healer. You may be someone who practices Reiki or learns Reiki if you haven't already. But I see the heart here in his hand. So he he's always trying to take care of somebody. Um, maybe someone who's an alchemist, able to make something out of, like, make the most extreme things out of what others would say is nothing or a very little bit. You're able to stretch things on behalf of just wanting everyone to have equal, you know, equality. Um, not a card that came up here is invisibility, but it came up under your purity and your um, searching for more. So I feel like you're a person who might often feel like you're alone, but you're not alone. You have spiritual beings around you. You have them um, like angels, some of you fairies, some of you um, just beings that everybody else are not aware of because they're not tuned into that higher frequency. Um, they're not into that space where they don't understand that they're we're in a space we're spiritual beings um, in these bodies. So they don't understand that. And you do. So sometimes you may feel like you're alone and no one's with you. But I want you to know that your um, your spirit guides are with you. Some of you have spirit guides with you. Some of you have grandparents that are with you, um, assisting you. And in that, this is some more birds came up. This person is sitting here on the bench. But the birdie is right next to it. The birdie is right next to it. Okay. Yep. And I'm seeing ones here, so I definitely can tell that you guys are meant to grow the most when you're um, alone and you're not following others and you're just being your true authentic self. That's the more you'll be able to be creative with your gifts and you'll be able to manifest things more and you'll be able to create and you'll be able to um, get most of your spiritual messages. You'll be able to decipher them more when you just go within. All right, so for what I see, I feel like you guys are... I feel like all of you guys are master builders, but I feel like you guys are very good at manifesting things, especially at a fast speed when you're happy, when you're in a good space. All right, so that was for my number ones. Thank you so much for watching this video. It, oh, actually, I'm sorry. You know what? I'm going to do some charms. I got these new charms, and I want to use them, so I'm not going to stop it yet, but I'm going to... um. I got these new charms, and I just want to use some of them. Well, there I made them into charms. I want to use them and see. All right. I'm just going to do a few of them, maybe. See what are some of your spiritual gifts. Oh, three of them came out. We're going to take it. I was only going to do two. But we can. Okay, so one of y'all, you're able to make... Yeah, I, this is like a little game that I turned into a charm, but you're going to um, be able to make something out of nothing, like wish things. Like you might see a star go past and you're going to be able to make a wish and you're going to be like, wow, it, like it may be soon or it may be a little bit later. You're going to be like, I, I wished about that. or I wish I had that. Your dreams can become your reality basically with my number ones because this is what you're basically good at. This is something that you're already good at. You just got to start uh, basically building it and flexing it like a muscle, um, getting better with it over time. Also, you have the owl that came up for my number one. So a lot of you guys have innate wisdom. Um, some of you may be, this may not be your first time here. You may have been here before and have multiple lives or maybe an ancient soul or um uh, also, because wisdom is something that you were already born with, you may have been one of those children who just knew things and didn't know how you knew them. Or as you get older, you notice that you're just knowing things and you're not sure, like, where did that come from? How did I know that? You may have um, some um, you may have some uh, psychic abilities just inner knowing knowing things without knowing how you know them. wisdom you're that person that people can come to to get spiritual guidance other people can come and talk to you okay and you're just good at kind of like 
being two sides of the coin or being complex like there's many 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 layers to you that people don't know about they don't know about simply because you don't show the world who you are all the time they don't know um that you're so some people may not know that you're creative and they also don't know about all this wisdom that you're sitting on but you're being called to find a way to learn more study more in whatever field that you're in so that you can give back one day and teach others so that you can be that teacher that spiritual teacher okay so that is it for my number ones thank you so much for watching this video if this resonated with you at all or you feel any type of way about it write some um, feedback in the comment section don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell if you would like to hear more all right peace have a great week Twos, thank you so much for allowing me to um, give you some insight on what your spiritual gifts may be. Um, if this resonates with you, don't forget to leave some comments and like this video. I'm going to get started. So we have Queen Nefertiti here. I feel like this energy, this gift already, you may have the gift of attracting things to you, getting the things that you want, like for some of you. Um, you're very attractive, and that is something that is just a part of one of your spiritual gifts because it draws people to you. You're able to network with people, communicate with people easily. For some of you, that may just come to you natural. For others, you may have to work on it. Um, even the people that shy, like some people can be shy, but you're not. You're not realizing that you are able to communicate with others. It's really. It's really basically your own mind playing tricks on you. Like you're hiding who you are, like your true authentic self. I mean, like you could really be opening up to people and finding your tribe because usually you're probably unique, very unique, but you find yourself not being around people that always align with you. So you just, it's about attracting your tribe by being your authentic true self because you're very sensual. I feel like you're very, um, like you just draw people to you. You're magnetic for this particular group. A lot of you are beautiful. I, I just know a lot of you who are watching this video are beautiful no matter what no one tells you, okay? So, male or female, whoever you are, okay? You're magnetic. I can feel it. You're like enchanting. All right, so my number twos, let's get into what are some of your spiritual gifts. I'm going to be using... My Sybil Oracle. I never used that on this channel yet. So I'm just going to um, get into it on as far as what are some of your spiritual gifts for my number twos. What are some of your spiritual gifts? All right. And if you want to oh, one of these cards just flipped out. Okay. So for your first card, we got complexity. Um, this is what it looks like. I feel like you just draw people to you based off of that. Like there's so many layers to you. People want to understand you. You're mysterious to people. People are like something about this person something about this person that just draws me to them even if you don't have a lot of friends and things like that people when you walk in a room people are looking at you a certain type of way because they feel like it's something about your energy um they want to know more they want to get to um the parts of you that are not shown up front gratitude i see here and <laughs> Miss, uh, mysteries <laughs> mysteries mysterious came up here and rested so I feel like for my number twos you're able to get whatever it is you want um kind of in a manifesting type of way but with this deck particular I feel like you just attract things to you um you're able to multiply things you may be good with your um some of you I'm hearing are some witches. Like, you know how to mix it up. And, it, and don't get offended by this. 
<laughs> don't get offended by me using that word but some of y'all know how to um, make some potions um, use herbs use oils make oils and herbs make candles um, you're if you have not realized this about yourself already, you kind of attracted to the mystery of things. You're kind of attracted to other topics that other people would call taboo or wouldn't be interested in. Some of you um, are even scryers. Some of you are scryers. Some of you can do uh, a lot of practical magic, different forms of magic, easy, and it works for you. Like your magic works. Um, you're a magical person in general. You're just magical. Okay, let me see something here. You have a connection to flowers. Some of you have connection to flowers and animals. Some of you can heal animals through speaking to them or just like using your hands or using um, your potions, herbs and things like that that you make. You're able to actually create things to heal people in general. You're able to... Um, accumulate a lot of abundance because of your gifts some of you may go into the field of work of doing um, candle making and making things for people I'm hearing Grigory Dows for some of you I just heard Grigory Dows uh, magic I want to do um, I got some different things I wanted to try this week with you guys because I wanted to get creative with it. So I'm going to try. I got some different cards, but first I'm going to try. I'm just going to do my um, angelic tarot, and then we're going to get into some different stuff. But yeah, you guys are you even some of you can do some like shadow magic. I'm hearing once you tap into your do your shadow work and learn your shadow self. Some of you can do things like that. I see and hmm. you're able to get into doors that other people are not able to get into. You're able to make things happen that other people are not able to make happen, basically, based off of who you are. Like your energy is all inside of you. It's not on the outside of you. It has nothing to do with what you wear. Yeah, you may wear some like cool things that attract people to you or you might dress nice or different. But this energy that I'm getting from my number twos, it's like something inside of you attracts anything that you want to you like a magnet. So if you don't know that. um, Yeah, so with the three of air here right under the card that I'm seeing the shadow in, it has take time to heal. Um, sh your shadow work usually has to do with working with yourself. It said the need to forgive yourself or others on this card. So a lot of that energy you're going to find out once you start working through your shadow self and start healing and working with that energy. You're going to see how you can transform that dark energy. And I don't mean dark like in a bad way, but like that dark void or different things you're going to start noticing about yourself you can actually use to help others so you're going to find out that that's going to be like you're kind of like your truth i'm hearing like your truth is going to be what's going to help you to transform yourself your heart and to help others um once you take that time to work through that sadness and things like that your magic is even going to work better it's going to work better because the intentions are going to be clear it won't be any stagnation yep next card is your wishes is coming true your wishes are coming true so like you're going to be able to just get things you want easily um you really don't have you shouldn't have any worries i can't say that you don't but you shouldn't have any worries because you have to get into that space of understanding who you are my queen nefertiti's even if you're a male watching this video like you have that energy where like the world is yours you are noble you have a noble spirit um other people may notice that about you some people may call you arrogant or um depending on how your personality is and how you treat people but you have this regalness to you and that's something that is innate and for some of you i'm hearing that it was passed down to you 
through generations. Generations. All right. Also, some of you are clairsentient. All right. Some of you are clairsentient. Mm -hmm. Yep. Don't get too much in your ego because when you get too much in your ego, this magic here for you won't work. Your magic here won't really work the way you want it to. And you don't want to attract negative things to you based off your negative based thoughts and your um, thinking too much about the material. So don't use your magic for like negative things or like when I say negative things, I mean don't be using it to like hex people for no reason and just doing things for no reason because then that kind of messes with your little thing that you have going on with your gifts. And you don't need that when you could just be creating a life and attracting a life to you that you love and you want to live. I mean, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be attracting stuff to me like that. Now, these are some game cards that I wanted to add into here. It's like some little tricky wish cards, like some type of genie wish type thing. So I wanted to add them because they have some pretty cool terms on them that I thought would be good for learning about what your spiritual gifts is. So let's see, what are some of you guys' spiritual gifts? I'm going to do three of them. <laughs> okay. Yep, so some of you are like these witches, like I said. Some of you are like kitchen witches or like uh, alchemists. You're able to make things, potions and things like that. Um, you're able to create things with your hands, mixing and herbs and things like that. You're actually able to heal people with some of the things you make. You're actually able to heal people's hearts and stuff. And um, I don't know why I just said hearts, but you're able to heal people as far as like sicknesses. You're able to give people remedies and make things like that for like when they're not feeling good to help them ease their pain and ease different situations, you're able to do that. Like you can go in the kitchen and go in the cabinet and whip up something quick and it just come to your mind like that. That's the type of spiritual gifts y'all have. If y'all don't know, now you know. Maybe you should start like working on it and learning more about it, learning more about it. Another gift you guys have, it says here, this is so cute, flight, flight. Now with flight, I feel like you have the gift of just like taking off at whatever you want to do. Um, some of you may have a connection with black cats. Um, like, because it's two cats here, actually. I didn't even see that at first. After I said black cat, I noticed it was another one here. It's a little bitty black cat here. And it's watching the other cat fly. But you guys are actually good at, once you get in a good mind space, just being so content with life. Because you can attract anything you want. Like, you can, you can have what you want and you can have a healthy life where you can have like a a pretty good um you have a lot of you will have a lot of material gain and i hope that you practice um being thankful for that and just practice gratitude because you need to be thankful when you are receiving so many good things in your life and just show this um god or your spiritual team that you're thankful for what they're doing for you on the other side because I hear that some of you do have a connection to the other side so yep just taking flight and things you work some of you can work with the moon cycles with this card here I see some of you have the ability to work with the moon cycles um so if you if you don't know about that maybe you could do some research on how to um, work with the moon cycles cycles because I know some people do magic around moon cycles and it works kind of better. I'm not going to get into that too much, but the next card we have here is private island. So for my number twos, you guys, you can make yourself feel like you're on your own private island. You can have everything that you need like right in one place. You don't really need to go far to, like you're not one of the people who's always on the run trying to go somewhere else to feel better about yourself or um, to feel 
content because you can draw everything to you. So it's really no need for you to feel like you have to go outside of your little comfort area, you know, once you start mastering your gifts because you'll be able to have everything you need. Like this person in this card has like the world at his hands, like comfortable hanging clothes outside, coming outside, looking at the sun, um, building, build his home out of this stuff here and oh i'm sorry if you can't see it build his home like right on top of this rock here and i was like i'm fine i got everything that i need i got all the elements so yep you should definitely try some once you master your gifts some moon magic and let me see something here working with your hands in water working with your hands in water um Make sure your heart space is good when you're doing this magic. And a lot of you may resonate with the number 3, 33, and 1. Some of you that's watching this video may be master number 33s. All right, so I, I wanted to do some little charms that I made up myself. Um, I made them like, they're uh, little gifts that I got from the store of fairy charms. But I mixed them up with different stuff I already had and put some stickers on some of them. All right, so let's see. Okay, so more than what I wanted to fill out, fill out for this particular deck. But I see here you have the honeybee here. So you guys are sweet. You have like this sweetness about you. You draw people to you naturally. People are just so attracted to your energy. Can't get enough of you. Want to know more about you. Want to know how to get close to you. You can kind of be addictive to some people. Um, very attractive. You have an attractive spirit, um, so you can attract the things you like. Um, able to get your wishes, able to get your wishes. So the things that you desire, your heart's desire, you're able to get them when you're in a good space. Have some wisdom. Some of you guys have like this innate wisdom, so you have some like intuitiveness. Um, you just know things without knowing how you know them. Um, Some of you do good with the working magic at nighttime, I'm hearing. Some of you are connected to the trees. Some of you are connected to, like, uh, trees and being in a forest. Some of you are forest witches. Get in tune with the elements. Get in tune with the elements. Okay? Because they're going to work with you and work for you. Here is a wand. As you know, you guys are magical. And for my number twos, you guys are so magical. You guys are good with your throat chakra. So you may be able to like speak. Speaking may be one of your spiritual gifts like spirit or uh, spirit guides or the divine source is able to use your tongue when you're um, balanced to speak divine messages to other people. People may come to you when they need someone to talk to because they know that you're going to just know exactly what to say. Somehow it just comes to you. Um, like I said, you can be a little tricky. <laughs> you can be a little tricky because um, you're very complex. It's so many layers to you. It's so much to you that people just want to understand more because they want to know, like, how is it that this person energy is like that? Why are they? And I hear glowing for some of y'all. Some of y'all have a glow about y'all that makes people just attracted to y'all and it shows through the outer. But it's starting and within the end. As long as you take care of your heart space, you'll be good. You guys will be able to fly high. Okay. <laughs> so that was for my number two. And if you like what you heard today or if it resonates with, um, if what you heard resonates with your situation or some things you may be, may be true about you, don't forget to leave a comment. Like the video, subscribe, share, and I hope that you guys have a great week. This Peace. part of the video, um, if you picked this here, this ancient symbol of a bird, it looks like a hawk, I believe. Um, we're about to get into your reading. I feel like this particular group has a connection to higher knowledge, higher information. Um, you're also... I'm sorry, this is just coming in while I'm getting started. Some of you guys are connected to the divine in a way where you're able to channel messages 
easily. Um, your main goal is, like, you're a free spirit. So your main goal is to just soar high and go at whatever it is that you want. Um, a lot of you have angels constantly with you, constantly assisting you. Guardian angels, arch angels, look, I'm sorry, angels, uh... You're able to balance things out. But I feel like some of you are seeking higher spiritual wisdom. So you have a connection to that. You can access, access that esoteric knowledge. Um, over time, it will begin to reveal itself to you. That's just what I'm hearing for my number threes. All right. So we're going to get into this Sybil Oracle I have. I haven't used it yet on this channel, so this will be the first time I use it on this channel. And just to see what are some of your spiritual gifts. So what are some of the spiritual gifts for the people that's watching this video for my number threes? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not good at shuffling. <laughs> I, I have never been good at shuffling, but I'm getting better. And I'm just going to keep practicing. I'm just gonna keep going at it because I don't give up and I feel like that's what my number three is like y'all just don't give up oh the first card we got is transformation with this symbol here so my number three y'all are always like going through some type of spiritual transformation with the cycles as the cycles change with the earth you're constantly like evolving going higher and higher and higher and higher um, I do see a swan here. I think this is a swan. So you want, you might want to look that up and see what like the spiritual messages for a swan is for my number threes. Because you guys are definitely like one of those people who can see things from a higher perspective. And it's all due to, um, it's like from a spiritual sense. You don't look at the world the way, the way rest of the world looks at the things that are going on. You see things from a different perspective. Contentment. So a lot of my number, uh, I don't know why I just picked out another card, but a lot of my number um, threes, you guys are actually going up the steps. You're going up some steps to higher levels of spirituality. You may have been here before a few times, so you're evolving each time you come back. And while you're here, you're evolving. You're constantly reinventing yourself. You're good at that. You're constantly um, learning from your past experiences and reshaping them to create a better version of you as well as like, hmm, just be at peace with yourself. You're kind of like a wise soul. You don't got to really worry about the things that other people worry about or they don't bother you the way other people um, are bothered by them. If you are watching this video and you are worried, you're a worried person, um, you're going to grow out of that over time. You just haven't grew into who you truly are yet because I can tell that my number threes, you are very like transformational. Like you're always learning something new and you look at it from a spiritual perspective versus how other people may go through the same thing as you and not see any type of lesson in it um any type of message in it you guys are connected to like divine mysteries um secret mysteries all right higher knowledge always learning something sacred knowledge i'm hearing the akashic records for some of you um, some of you may see black birds too. Like I have two cards here with birds. Some of you are connected to like swans and things like that. But I'm also seeing like some of you are connected to the crow or the raven, which is a magical bird, um, which is about death transformation. Um, transfer. So a lot of people associate just black birds with death in general as a bad omen, but. I'm hearing for this particular group, my number threes, um, your, your able to understand the purpose of endings and how they can create new beginnings. You're not worried about losing things. Like some of you guys may, it may take a hard time for you to let things go, but you begin to realize that when you let things go, 
a newness newness comes in for you like you're able to get so much more when you let things go I'm also hearing that some of you guys can actually scry with a mirror and some of you guys have a spiritual partner nurturing so I'm, I, I didn't even do this for the other group I'm actually gonna do six cards for y'all group because I feel like y'all have more spiritual grit uh, gifts this particular deck for pile three I feel like y'all have more spiritual gifts than the other decks for some reason I, I'm not gonna read these reversals okay so here goes some more birds it's something about these number threes we got the bird here with your um coaster some of you guys are mediums I, I'm feeling that some of you are mediums and you're actually able to pick up on spirit um, when spirit is around you you can feel it some of you may have like sensations with your body um, or like feel tingling in your ears um, because you have a spiritual team that has been assigned to you and they are helping you constantly um, they're constantly helping you uh, one of the things that you're learning here if you don't already have a good sense of this is nurturing the ability of nurturing yourself so that you can pour into to others like you're really really good at taking care of people it comes to you naturally you're like a beautiful butterfly um, for people you're so free you're, you're so free like I'm not sure if some of you guys are travelers or you have wishes on traveling but that is something that you're able to do just based off of who you are because when you travel around the world you're able to meet other cultures and other um, people and just like experience those different divine experiences you're not too big on religion or being stuck on one religion um, always looking to learn something new and this even has like a skull here like the death as well as the the transformation yeah so you guys are always going through a transformation um you're able to grow things easy like some of you guys have green thumbs like where you're able to just grow things that other people find hard to grow or they have a hard time with nurturing plants you have the ability to speak life into a plant speak life into um earthly plants and herbs and things like that some of you are connected to flowers some type of white flowers or red flowers i'm not sure if it's roses or lilies but that's two different flowers that i'm hearing right now but this is another bird card like i said bird 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 so we have four birds here for you we see roses here i just seen that um some of you guys are water scryers if you don't know what scrying is, look it up because some of you guys can use the mirror or water to look into and scry. Uh, you want to bring people together. You want to bring people together somehow. I got some other cards that um, I'm going to use the angelic tarot first and then I'm going to get into the other cards, y'all. I, I made up some other stuff with like some game cards on how I can see what some of you guys' spiritual gifts are. So I wanted to do something different. Um, what is some spiritual gifts that number threes have? Yep, I definitely see you walking up into a, a higher gateway, like a higher knowledge. Going through some type of door, some type of initiation. Some of you may go through an initiation in this lifetime or in the spiritual realm just because of your spirit is constantly evolving and that's something that a lot of people don't do let me move these up all right so you are naturally going to be abundant because of the work that you're doing it's recognized on the spiritual side so some of you guys may just going to be in the, in the field of spiritual work in general. And with you being patient and waiting for that and um, making some long-term plans for yourself, you're going to see a return. You're going to see a return because you're doing the work on the spiritual side and abundance is going to come to you. You're able to attract abundance easily. All right. So like I said earlier, some of you guys have a connection with somebody that's a spiritual bond. And a lot of people don't are not able to have that with their partners, a spiritual bond. This particular group 
um, with the two of water coming up here, you're able to go to higher levels with your spiritual partner. Some of you may have soulmates or twin flames, and you're actually able to evolve with them because that are, that is what those type of relationships are for, is to help your soul evolve to who you truly are and learn lessons, all right? Um, it says a relationship that continues to grow closer. Some of you have to work on forgiveness, and when you work on forgiveness, that actually can help you with transformation. Now, some of you guys have, like, some of you have a high calling on your life where you're going to actually be speaking to people about spiritual things and leading other people in the field of spirituality. Um, yeah, I'm getting that right now. Some of you have a high calling and some of you are like being stubborn about answering it or which direction to go in. This card says public recognition. So some of you are going to be known for what it is that you do in the spiritual field. Like your spiritual gifts is what's going to... Um, people are going to know you for it and actually recognize you for it. And that's how you're going to gain abundance. That's one of the areas you're going to gain abundance in in your life. Um, once you get really good with things and once you just start understanding things, you're going to be able to communicate what you know with other people. Because a lot of people are boxed in and closed off about what they believe in. And you're somebody who is very free. I could tell already that you're very, very, very free. We're going to do some of these game cards. I said, uh... Tricky wishes. All right. What are some of your spiritual gifts, number three? Some of you guys can read um, prophecy through birds. Like birds bring you messages about things that's going to be happening, things that's going to be coming up. You're able to, like, do divination through the birds. Some of you are able to do divination through scrying, using water, or using a mirror. <laughs> okay so it w this is a cat flying <laughs> but it says flight with the bird as your main card so you guys are definitely able to take flight at what it is that you want to do some of you are connected to the number three and the number 33 um some of you are able to work your magic like i said moon magic I'm seeing a moon up here in the corner. Um, some of you are connected to black cats in general. Like, some of you may have a black cat. And that cat, like, has gold or greenish eyes. And they always just, like, stare at you when you're, like, in that space of either whipping up some type of magic or something. When something is, like... A message is trying to be relayed to you. Your cat may just stare at you and gaze at you for some reason. And some of you may not understand what that is, but this black cat is able to send you telepathic messages. It's kind of like some of you guys, not for all of you. Your cat is like your guardian angel. All right. So fly, spread your wings, and fly because you are able to do that, my number threes. Solve world hunger. This is so cute. So you're able to actually take what you know, um, you, you're an evolved soul, you're able to actually reform some things here on the earth and like make some stuff happen with your gift based off of what you know in general about the earth and you're not like a greedy person, you're not like a, a person, you're able to see in the, the solve world hunger was right on top of the card where you're able to make things just grow easily, you like have a green thumb, it was right under on top of that card where like I feel like you're able to multiply things you're able to make more like somebody might complain and be like well we only have this much bread you're like okay this is what we're gonna do with it you're able to actually make more out of something out of nothing too this is quantum supercomputer you're able to analyze things you're able to build things with your mind first some of you may be a master number 22. Some of you are familiar, like you see the number 22 a lot or two a lot. So you may have some type of connection with that. I'm hearing some of you are connected with nature. Like some of you are some 
people who can meditate out in um, nature and things will happen really fast for you. You're able to, you need to get grounded in nature, some of you. All right, so these are some like little charms that I made I'm going to use. I want to see which ones fall out for you. I only want to do two, but whatever falls out, I'll take it. Because I noticed with the other groups, I couldn't control it. Oh, y'all got all wines. All wines. So like I said, you're able to work your magic for my number threes. Um, you're gifted in the love area. Spiritually, you're able to, you have some type of spiritual connection to somebody that's living here on this earth or that have lived on this earth. Like y'all, y'all have went through many, many lifetimes together. And you're going to notice that in this lifetime, I feel like it's some type of spiritual relationship that you have with someone. Y'all might even have like where y'all communicate telepathically because you just, some type of cord between you two. Um, hmm. Some, a lot of you guys are going to be doing things with your voice. You're going to be like channeling the divine with your voice. Um, mediums. And I wanted to say this at the beginning of the video. I'm not sure if I said that. Some of you in this number three, you guys are mediums. You're going to be able to help people get closure on certain situations. Um, because you have the gift of divination and just being able to deal with spiritual uh, spirits on the other side because they're always with you. Mm -hmm. All right. And then also you guys have the gift of just like creating, um, creating something out of nothing. Like that's something that comes to you easy simply because You've been here so many times, you're not worried about, or you're not um, caught up with the things that most people are caught up with. You're able to express yourself through your voice a lot. Some of you guys may write a book about spiritual topics, maybe spiritual uh, speakers. Lots of communication I'm seeing with your spiritual gifts. Um, lots of rewards is going to come once you start opening up with your spiritual gifts, once you grow them and start sharing them some way, um, some type of way with the world. A lot of things are going to flow your way easily. All right, and I just got one last thing to say before I end this video. Um, with this three here, I got into the colors, but I didn't get into like the fact that this is actually three wands. So what I want to say is I feel like you are very creative. Um, able. Big thing I'm hearing here is communication, um, writing. Uh, like, what is it called? Automatic writing. Um, some of you guys have the gift of automatic writing and being able to just achieve anything you want. Um, ultimately, because you're like a high magic. Something about my number three is you're like mysterious, but you're you're ancient. You're esoteric. Um, yeah, with this three of wands, you're able to express yourself. And through expressing yourself, people are going to be naturally drawn to you. They're going to be naturally drawn to your uniqueness. What it was something about you that feels so um, ancient, so eccentric. You're going to be taking care of a lot of people, a lot of people in your lifetime. Um, whether it's family members or just like, because you're like a leader. You're a spiritual leader. You have a spirit of a spiritual leader. You don't have to step into that column, but the people who um, click on this number three, you're able to help other people because you're up there. Okay, especially with these. And I feel like um, I feel like a lot of you guys feel like you're at peace when you're with the birds. And that could be because some type of ancestors are watching you through the birds, whether it be pigeons, crows, ravens, or swans. But really these pigeons and these crows is what I'm feeling. Like these blackbirds, if you see blackbirds around you, or doves, doves too, doves, all right? All right, my beautiful love. So I thank you so much for watching this video. 
that was your reading for number three on what are your spiritual gifts. If you like what you heard today or you resonate with anything, leave some comments in the comment section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Uh, oh, yeah, and in the comment section, give me some um, suggestions on what you would want as far as the next video to be about. Some questions. Um, I will respond to you guys.